back to my channel. It's Marisa. How is everyone today? I hope everyone is having a fabulous day. So today we're going to be doing a pour on this wonderful little <coughs> Easter bunny here. So before we get started with that, and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with this little guy here. And I got something new over there, right there. Um, I just want to show you how the painting from yesterday dried. So this is the black and white. Now, it dried exactly the way I left it as usual. But I have to bring it over to the light because you're never going to see the glitter. So see, now you see it. When it was wet, I really couldn't do this and really touch it uh, anymore. I don't want any more uh, paint to drip off, but I couldn't wait to show you. Once it dried last night, look at that. Now you see it. So I wish you could see it more without having to do this, but, you know, it is what it is. And this is a very fine glitter, which is fine. And it doesn't have to be like, bam, in your face. But when you do that, it's really, really cool. See, there's a little surprise in there. So, there that is. It's beautiful, huh? I love that. I love that. It's kind of like, okay, that's cool. But then when you kind of turn, you know, when you turn it and when the light hits it a certain way, you see something totally different. And it's a little extra, like the little extra twist to it. Okie dokie. So let's move over to here. So I'm going to actually, um, because this is like obviously a, a weirder shape, you know, it's the shape of a bunny, of a rabbit, and not just a square canvas or whatever, I am actually, um, I was thinking about how I'm going to pour on this. So what I'm going to do is do two different pours on the bunny. So, over here, in this area here where his stomach is and all that, I'm going to do a ring pour, and then I'm just going to tilt it, and I'm going to be using these colors here by Primal Flow, and I'm going to do a ring pour. This is the magenta, bubblegum pink, and the titanium white in that cup. And then, on the top area here, I'm going to take this little container, and I am going to layer my colors in here, and I'm just going to pour over, um, I'm just going to pour over the bunny like that, okay? So, that is my idea. So, these are the colors. That is the cobalt turquoise. Then we have, this is apple barrel. I haven't used apple barrel in a while. Um, the paint is not bad. It was that there, um pouring medium was sorry apple barrel but it was literally the worst pouring medium I have ever used uh, so far I'll be honest with you um, but the paint is not like the worst it really isn't um, it's just fine um, is it the best no but it's 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 good it's okay it's it's very it's decent you know it's craft paint um, but it's a very pretty color so this is called sunny day and then I want to try a different, I have plenty of different turquoise. I want to use the Montmartre. Come on, you focus. Uh, this is turquoise. And then in these two colors, we have some Floetrol to my desired, you know, thickness, thinness, what I want with it. Okay. And then the other colors, there's no medium at all. And usually paints that I use with the Primal Flow, they work fine with one another. So I usually have not had a problem. I, I have used the Montmartre with the Primal Flow in the past. Never had an issue with it. The Apple Barrel, I don't know. But we'll see, you know. You will see how it comes out. And then I have some very cool embellishments that I want to add to it after. I don't know if I'm using all of it because it's a lot. You know, I may use a little bit of everything. We'll see. I found these. These are not real sprinkles. These are fake sprinkles, okay? And I saw someone use these in a video, or something similar to that, in a video doing resin art, and that's why I really bought them for. Uh, they were doing shaker molds, and I said, wow, that is really adorable. 
Um, so I want to use this more in resin, but I may just, you know, sprinkle a little, um, you know, sprinkle a little bit around. I want to try that out. Um, so we have these fake sprinkles here. Uh, we have the neon um, pink glass chips from Primal Flow. And then we have this mermaid glitter. I just thought it went with the color scheme here. Very spring colors. And then we have the chunky gold glitter. Okay. So that is the materials. All the materials will be listed below in the description as usual. So let's get started right away. All right, guys, I will be back in a second.
Hey guys, now it's time for embellishments. We're going to start with the bottom part and we're going to start off using a little bit of this mermaid glitter. I'm just sprinkling it all over the bottom half of the bunny to give it just a little sparkle there. And it is very stuck to my fingers as of course as glitter does. And that's all good because this glitter is really pretty and it's easily washed off anyway. So next we are doing the um, little fake sprinkles, multicolored sprinkles. And I'm just going to lay them down in the center where his belly would be. He's going to have like a candy filled belly or a sprinkle field be uh, filled belly. And I'm just going to sprinkle those all over the center of the wood piece. A little more. And I can't stop using those sprinkles, obviously. <laughs> Next, we're using the neon glass, and I'm just going to put those on the feet area where his toes would be, just to give it a little extra touch, and the paint adheres to it as long as you do it right away. While the paint is very wet, and since I just poured it, it will be very stuck on there, it will not come off. And I just did both toes. I love this pink neon glass. It is really, really pretty. And with this glass, um, you don't need to use gloves because they're chunky pieces, not little, um, little pieces of glass. With those, you absolutely have to wear gloves, but these are okay to handle without gloves. And that part is done. Okay, so now we are going to start with the chunky gold glitter. The top half where there's head and ears would be. So I'm just sprinkling a lot on there because this gold is going to go beautifully on top of these aqua colors. And I love the fact that all these colors are represented. You see a little bit of that yellow. You see all three colors just mix perfectly with this chunky gold glitter that I got from Primal Flow. It is really gorgeous. And I just love going crazy with it. So next we're going to do more sprinkles. And I'm just putting it on his ears. to put it all over his ears just to give him a little I just want him to look like a little piece of candy a little piece of e uh, Easter candy just bright and colorful and just very playful and I got these um, fake sprinkles on Amazon and I got a pretty big bag of them And I will be using them in my resin art very, very soon. See that glowing? Guys, I am back. I forgot to tell you in the beginning of the video that I know it's a little early for Easter. Um, but I couldn't help it because it was just like sitting there saying, paint me, paint me, do something with me. You know, I just kind of let it sit still. So this was a lot of fun to do. Um, my paint consistency was really perfect and it dripped in a little bit here but I wasn't gonna mind that anyway if like the two kind of halves of the body kind of like meshed in here that's fine but actually my consistency was absolutely perfect um, it could have come out better to me um, it was much easier than I thought I thought it was gonna be a big pain in the butt to be able to like get all the 
little shapes and stuff but it was actually quite e easy um, and this these colors came out beautiful like real Easter spring colors and then he has a little sprinkle belly and just his little toes <laughs> has the pink glass I was thinking about doing like you know eyes and all that but I'm like no I'm just gonna leave it um, we got that beautiful gold glitter in there and then we have the mermaid glitter in this one. You can't see it as much, but you know, when it dries, you definitely will. You could see it, but. And then you'd have like the sprinkle ears. And like this time, I felt like I could go a little crazier with the glitters and all that because of what it is. It's just a fun, you know, a fun idea. And then there is a hole in here. Oops, sorry. There is a hole in here somewhere so you can actually hang it. There was a string in there. Um, it was hanging. So I'm just going to poke a hole through that before it dries. Right after I am done with this video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my little Easter pour. A very early Easter pour. Not that early, but you know, a little early. Um, I just couldn't help it. I know I did this before even St. Patty's Day. But I have something, I'm saving all my stuff um, that I have for St. Patty's Day for closer for next week. Because I'm doing my Jacksepticeye, um, my old Jacksepticeye video. And that should be a lot of fun because you should check him out beforehand. Um, he's incredibly funny. I don't know if it's everyone's brand of humor. He's a gamer, uh, you know, whatever, but, you know, you should check him out if you like a really good laugh and you want to be uplifted in your day. So, anyway, because um, what's going out there right now, uh, I think we all need a little laugh, you know? So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this painting today. And if you did, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. You can follow me on social media. My links are down below in the description as well as all of the materials I used. If you would like to, you could uh, support me on PayPal. If you are interested in buying any one of my pieces on my channel, you can email me. The links are below as well. Thank you so much for watching again, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.